Hey, thanks for tuning in. So this week we're gonna talk about the buyer's confidence. I know last week we spoke about the seller's confidence, but because this is a transaction, it requires two different sides and we're gonna talk about the importance from the seller's perspective of, of winning the trust of the buyer. So when we're talking about winning the trust of the buyer, what's really important is that when you present a house to the market and you put your house, uh, get your house ready for sale, it's really important that we talk about the perspective of the buyer. When a buyer feels confident about the house and they don't feel that there's any uncertainty, they feel more confident offering more money, offering top dollar. And when this happens, this typically happens across multiple buyers. And if your house is priced correctly, it will bring multiple buyers to the table. All of them feel confident about offering on the house that your house is not overpriced, the inspections are done, the reports are clean, right? And you've presented your disclosures up front and the buyer is now able to see the home inside and out, right? Through the reports and the inspections. And now they feel better about the home and they can offer confidently. And when this happens, right, the buyer is not internalizing the difference of say, oh, how much is it going to cost to repair this? Or how much is it going to cost to do X, Y, and Z? Uh, oftentimes when a buyer enters the market, if they've never done any repairs or renovations before, they often overestimate. So when they over, overestimate a project, say by 20, 30, 40, maybe even $50,000, it definitely impacts their purchase price. Right. So if they don't if they feel like there's a lot of work to be done and they've never done it before, and they're overestimating. It definitely takes away from their confidence and offering uh, at full price if you're the seller. And as a seller, right, we, you know, you're working with a professional, you know, who definitely has the vendors to get it done. And so to you, your cost of repairing the, you know, small, some of the section ones, if they're there or giving your home a fresh coat of paint is much cheaper right, then, you know, an arbitrary projection if you've never done any sort of remodel before. And especially when you're talking about a competitive market, there's multiple homes for sale in the area, a fresh coat of paint, you know, some upgrades and some touch-ups, you know, assume, assume all that work is going to cost you $10,000, but winning the buyer's confidence often nets you far more than just the 10000 you put in, right? Uh, typically, the math is not 10000 in, 10000 out. Sometimes it's 10,000 in, 30,000 out, or even more depending on you know, your neighborhood and price point. So when we're considering what to do on the home, uh, you know, what are the big takeaways when you're preparing your house to sell? If your home hasn't had a fresh coat of paint, I highly suggest uh, in terms of ROI, you know, return on investment, a fresh coat of paint inside and out, making it, the home look more modern, making it look more flawless is definitely big. You know, you can get a full interior exterior paint from a professional licensed painter for relatively, you know, cheap and it's not going to cost a lot, but the impact on the buyer is definitely worth it, right? Uh, sometimes, you know, when I'm representing sellers, they, I understand that everyone's financial situation is different. I get it, right? So if we're selling because we have to, no problem, right? We're going to make it work, but we're going to have to come down in price. But if you have a high expectation uh, and no work done, there's often a disconnect. Your house is going to sit and you're going to end up doing a price reduction anyway, just because the market is not generating or the market may not generate the kind of offer that you're looking for. So circling back to putting yourself in the shoes of the buyer, we're looking at what is the impression once they see your house, right? We've already talked about the importance of online marketing and online presence. So we're not talking about when the buyer is physically in the home. And as a seller, you want them to have that that wow effect, right? That that I need to be here. This house is for me. And if you know the paint is outdated and it's chipping and it looks weathered and there's signs of wear throughout the house, it kind of doesn't give the buyer that sense of I need to be here. Uh, granted, there's a buyer for every house and there's also an investor for every property. Uh, but if you're looking for the highest uh, dollar for your house to get the most equity of your home, you want to create that feeling, right? Because it's important. So to summarize, winning the buyer's confidence is almost just as important as the buyer winning the seller's confidence, right? Because the buyer wants to be able to move into a property, feel good about it, and do as little work as possible. Granted, of course, there's buyers out there that want to put their own touch and personal spin on a house. They want to make it their own. That's fine, right? That's why we're only, you know, the first thing to do is paint because that's easy, right? People can do that themselves. They can get, you know, uh, a fair price from their painters you know, that's the easy one. It's low hanging fruit, high ROI, easy to switch, right? If you're looking for, you know, if you're a buyer and you're like, you want to repaint, no problem. That can be done by your, you know, you can do that yourself. But again, we're going to talk about the buyer's confidence, right? We want to give them the reports. Inspections need to be done. 
right? Because typically your average buyer is not a home, home inspector by trade. When a buyer is looking through the house, they need to be certain that, you know, there's no fungus or dry rot or, you know, flaws in the home. The electrical, you know, is not a fire hazard and that their water heater isn't going to explode on them, right? So these are some important things of why we get reports in a competitive market, right? Because what's going to happen is if we don't get reports done, say you wanted to save the $1,000 for the home inspection and the pest inspection, you know, $1,000 is a lot of money, but when you're talking about you know, a home, a thousand dollars in relation to that, uh, is it's a wise investment to do, right? Because assume you don't do it, you don't have inspections done. The buyer is going to have an inspection contingency, right? Because they don't feel confident about what's the, you know, what material facts may be impacting the house. If there's an inspection contingency, now it's, we're waiting, right? We got to wait seven, 14 days to have their inspectors come in and they're going to find something. If they find something that we didn't disclose, now the buyer has the ability to counter us. They can assume they find something that is uh, a big problem in the home, say foundation, roof, or piping, or electrical. Uh, and we didn't disclose it because we didn't know, because we didn't get inspection. They can now counter us in price. That's something we don't want to do, right? Of course, we're going to hold fast to our number. And as your agent, I'm going to fight for the highest, you know, the highest possible price for you. But what's going to happen is they're going to have a valid reason. Right? We may have to meet in the middle or something like that. And that's something we want to completely avoid. We're looking to create a seamless experience for both the seller and the buyer. That's why we're talking about having precise reports. We're having the disclosures on time. Right, That's important because the buyer also wants to know what's happened from the home from the seller's perspective. And that's why the buyer's confidence is just as important as the buyer winning the selling party's confidence as well. Right, because they want to understand that the house is in good order, they can feel confident. And when a buyer feels confident, they're able to offer more money because on the back end, they have to do less work. This is kind of what it boils down to. If a buyer buys the house, do they have to put more money into it? If yes, the offer price comes down. If no, the confidence and the price goes up. So these are just some things to consider as you're preparing to sell your house. And I'll definitely see you guys next week. Thanks.